Hey guys, this is Connie today from Nicaragua. I made it here from California yesterday, but today I want to tell you about 10 things that I stopped caring about that completely changed my life. And I hope that with this video I can inspire you to maybe stop caring a little less too about these things and see what happens. So let's start. Number one, probably the most important one on my list is that I stop caring about what other people think of me. It's a huge game changer when you realize that it really doesn't matter what other people think of you. The reason why this changed my life so much is that I wouldn't be able to do what I do, which is make videos or put photos on Instagram and write really personal posts. I couldn't do any Facebook lives. I couldn't do any of that if I was caring constantly about what other people thought of me. I can only make myself this vulnerable and be this authentic and just go for it because I don't give a shit anymore. It doesn't mean that I don't take criticism to heart because I sometimes still do, even though less and less and less, it's just like a learning process you go through, I guess. I'm only able to do all of this because I don't care what other people think. This doesn't mean I don't care about what you think about me. I, I care so much because I make all these videos and I want to inspire you and I, I want to change your life. But if I was to care about everybody's opinion and whether they judge me or not, or is this too much, or can I talk about this, or do I look okay, can I talk about that? I just, it would all be for nothing. One day I allowed myself to be me. And being a blogger, being a vlogger, that's what we do. We put ourselves out there and there will be people that judge me and I know it and I hear it and some people leave bad comments and stuff knowing that that's gonna happen anyway and to just not care. I love what I do and I love inspiring people but I wouldn't be able to do it if I cared too much about what other people thought of me. Number two, a little bit softer. I stopped caring about what day of the week it is and what time of the day it is. And yes, I can do that because I'm in a place like Nicaragua where it really doesn't matter whether it's a Saturday or a Wednesday. But the reason why this is important is I work, I'm creative when I'm creative. I'm not just creative between Monday and Friday between 9 to 5. I can be super creative and super productive on like a Sunday morning or a Saturday at 11 p.m. I work whenever I feel like I want to work and when I want to put stuff out there and that is at times very different to what we're taught and the reason why I wanted to have this free lifestyle of being location dependent and being an entrepreneur and do my own thing was I wanted to be in charge of when I work where I work and what time it is and what day it is and whatever I want to be able to control all of these variables I stopped caring about how other people do things basically I stopped caring about conventional ways that things are done, I stop caring about what society tells me to do, and I stop caring about what things I should do or have to do. The only thing I really have to do is I'm gonna have to die one day. That's the only thing I really have to do. Everything else, I want to be able to decide whether that works for me or doesn't work for me. So I untethered from normal ways of eating, for example, you know, whatever we're taught. Like I'm on a whole foods plant-based diet and I love it. It goes totally against what I grew up with growing up in Germany in Bavaria where you eat a lot of meat and you drink a lot of cow's milk and all that crap. I untethered from the way people work. I said no to the 40-hour work week and being employed. I just kind of started doing my own thing, building my own online business, traveling the world, living and working in awesome places. And I generally untethered from the way that people live and the expectation that we need to have a family by the age of whatever, 30 and kids and all that stuff. And even if that might still manifest itself into my life, I'm not gonna do it because society or other people or the media tells me to do things. I do it because I test things and I see if it works for me. And if it doesn't, I just reject it. And if it does, then I'll keep doing it. But I stopped trying to fulfill other people's expectations or society's expectations. And one big epiphany was to realize I don't have to do things the way other people do them. I can do things my way. And that might not always be the way that other people like doing them, 
but it works for me and that's what's important and you should do the same. I stopped caring about things and went minimalist about six years ago. That completely changed my life because I stopped putting too much focus on owning shit and buying stuff and going on shopping and having a huge closet full of things I never wear and went over to, huh, actually experiences. That's where it's at for me. That's what really matters. I embraced the minimalist lifestyle, not just in terms of things actually, but in many other areas of my life as well. And I made a video about why minimalism is the most amazing lifestyle ever. And uh, it's right up here. You can watch it. It's so liberating to stop caring about stuff. I stopped caring about the media and the news because I stopped reading and following the news about five or six years ago as well. I used to be super addicted to reading the news and I was reading the news a lot every single day. And I thought I had to know about everything that was going on in every corner of the world until I realized, huh, for one, I'm being influenced of whatever is going on in the news. And second, there are a lot more things that actually are way more beneficial for me, such as reading awesome books, reading awesome blogs, um, learning stuff on YouTube, learning stuff in other online courses. So now I consume content that actually enhances my life rather than take away from it because the news is mostly negative and I don't want to invite all these negative energies into my life. It doesn't mean that I'm naive or anything, but I tell you one thing, a lot of very successful, happy, awesome people out there, they don't read the news and it really lifts up the vibe and the energy in your life. At the beginning of this year, I stopped caring about shame. Maybe you remember I did a 30 day challenge in January where I did a video every single day about vulnerability. It was called 30 days of vulnerability and essentially this was so that I would get over my huge fear of making myself vulnerable and this huge shame that I had been carrying in my life for a very long time and it worked. I swear to God, ever since I did those 30 days of vulnerability, I have let go and stopped caring about so many things in my life that I used to be ashamed of and it completely rocked my life. Number Eight. <laughs> One day I realized that I need to stop caring about perfectionist because perfectionism is actually just a fear. It's, it's wanting to be perfect, but actually it's a fear of being imperfect and that other people would judge me. I actually embrace not being perfect and I started making YouTube videos with my iPhone. And when I look back at some blog posts that I did in the very beginning with my travel blog Planet Backpack like five years ago, I mean, they were horrible. They were totally not perfect, but I did it anyway. I'm about to launch something new that's totally not perfect and I'm gonna do that anyway. Every single video that I put out there is totally not perfect, but I put it out anyway. <laughs> I believe when we care too much about being perfect, will never put stuff out there. And I believe many people hold themselves back from creating stuff, from publishing stuff, from starting a YouTube channel, from starting a blog or whatever, because they think other people might judge them because maybe it's not perfect enough. They're waiting for the day that they have this perfect idea, this perfect epiphany, the perfect blog post, the perfect branding, whatever, to then finally start. But actually, it's just fear. I recommend you to just Screw perfectionism and do it anyway. Just do it, just start, just create, press publish. It'll change your life. Number nine, and this is actually a really big personal vulnerable one. I stopped caring about being single. Get that. It used to be a big deal for me when I was in an, this in-between phase of not being with anyone and not having anyone on my radar, not being interested in anyone and just being single. And the reason why this is such a big deal is because this is probably one of the first times in my life that I am completely in my own energy. I'm not worried about anything out there. I, there's no drama in my life, no girl drama, which is awesome. I'm finally getting to a point where I'm extremely happy just being who I am, what I'm doing, and being single is actually pretty awesome if you know how to enjoy it. And so I have come to this point in my life and I trust that there will be this amazing, beautiful, inspiring, passionate woman waiting for me, my soul partner. I trust that and I know it's gonna happen. And in the meantime, 
I'm gonna be a happy single and just really take care of myself, create a lot of awesome stuff and just let you know that being single is fucking awesome. And lastly, another big one, I stopped caring about comparing myself. I stopped caring about other people and what they do better maybe. Because as a blogger, as a vlogger, as someone who puts content out there, you kind of, you, you check your likes and your comments and, you know, and you check what other people are doing and how many likes they have and how many subscribers and how many followers and whatnot. And that can drive you a little bit mad, actually. And I'm sure some of you that are publishing and are out there and are content creators, they know what I'm talking about. And it can really turn into a bit of a problem because when you're constantly comparing yourself, you're not focusing on creation or what you're doing. You're not focusing on the value that you want to provide. You're just focusing on, uh, is someone else better than me? You're constantly focusing on not being good enough and that can be just so limiting. And I realized that it's I'm actually my own way. If I keep on comparing myself to other people, what other YouTubers are doing better, what other Instagrams, how many followers, it doesn't matter. All I care about is creating a community. I care about creating. I care about putting my best content out there. I'm caring about changing people's lives. And if that's to 10,000 or 50,000 or 1,000 or 100 people, it really doesn't matter. It's the impact that you can have on each an individual person, not about the, the numbers. It's not about the, the amount of comments. And, and it's really something that I also had to embrace because for example, with Planet Backpack, I grew a very big audience. And now with YouTube, um, it's a slower growth than I'd expected. And I would worry about that. I was like, oh man, why is this growing so slow? Especially since I changed language from German to English. But what I realized is, it's more important to focus on quality. It's more important to really focus on the community, on everybody, every single person out there, rather than checking the fucking views and the subscribers and the likes. That's not why I'm here. And this, my friends, is it for today. I hope you learned a little bit. Maybe you got inspired. Comment below if you have any questions, maybe things that you stopped caring about. And otherwise, subscribe to my channel to be always up to date with new videos. And I will see you in the next one. The next video is going to come soon. Bye.